what's up guys welcome back to it's just Denise so today I'm going to be doing an at home pedicure using things that you can find um, in your kitchen or um, that you use daily to do the pedicure okay there may be more than one reason why you don't want to get going to get a pedicure or it could be the cars or whatever so um, what I did was use some aloe vera and sugar to make my scrub that's what I'm showing you guys that I did I peel the aloe vera scrape it out and use it with two tablespoons of sugar to make my scrub you can use the sugar with some olive oil as well if you don't have aloe vera at home okay guys so I just mix it up you see the nice paste that I get okay yes that's my food scrub for you okay so these are the things that I'll be using I'll be using shampoo condition nail polish um, remover cotton and I'm just showing you guys the color polish that I'll be putting on my feet on my toes okay and a foot scrub and cuticle remover and uh, orange with steak okay so first make sure that you um the water is lukewarm okay yes i'm using some lukewarm water to do the pedicure yes and then i just put a little shampoo inside of the basin trust me guys it works wonders as well okay it does get the job done so i'm just showing what my feet looks like before i start okay up close Ooh. My nails are so good. Yeah. So um just soaking my feet for like 15 minutes before I start um with the old pedicure. Just make sure you have some lukewarm water. Put the shampoo in there, soak your feet for 15 minutes before you start the process. Okay, guys, yeah, so now I've soaked my feet, so I'm just um, clipping off the nail, my toenail, to the size that I want it to be. All right, I'm not gonna cut off all my big toe toenail. I'm leaving a little arm because I like to have a little extension. Okay, but it was too old grown. So after I've done that, um, I remove my nail polish. Um, remove the polish of my tool okay yes I clean it off okay so now I'm just filing down the nail so you know after you um, clip the toenail you have that rough edge so you just want to go ahead and file the nail okay you can leave it um as it is if you like that type of nail but it's best to file it down because you know it can itch in the sheet or stuff like that so after i finish doing all the filing on my nails i went ahead and i put some condition on my cuticle to soften it before i remove the excess cuticle okay yes guys the condition it's softening it and it works just as good as a critical remover all right yes it does in case you didn't know like i said i'm just using product that i have at home to do the pedicure strictly product that you find in your home you don't have to leave your home or you don't have to go buy anything just go ahead and use it so there is a um um a push a critical pushback on the file that i'm using so i go ahead and i'm removing the excess outgrown critical in the area make sure you get underneath the toenail as well just cleaning up underneath the toenail removing the excess critical as well guys you push back the, the critical you remove it okay it's not hard to do you know in this time to save up money you have to learn how to do your own um pedicure as well like i said it can be more than one reason why you don't want to go in to get a pedicure it can be because it can be because you don't want to go in because of all the pandemic you just want to keep safe so it's just easy access doing it at home like i said and i'm showing you guys um the two things that i use i use a critical um, um 
push back to do it there and I use the original stick like I was showing you before any one of them you have you can use any one of them it does get the job done as well all right yes so I'm on to the next door yes I'm just cutting and filing on the next door as well and removing the polish the same step that I does on one foot I went ahead and do it on the other all right yes it's very easy and affordable guys trust me you can do it get the job done Like I said guys, I'm just repeating the step that I do on the first photo to my second feet. And I show you both ways, the um, orange wood stick and the critical pushback. Okay, so now that I'm finished with my toes, I'm just going ahead and scrubbing away the excess flyaway, making sure that my nails are all clean. Okay, you're going you give it a nice little scrub with your brush, your toe brush, okay yes that's what i'm doing now so now i'm finished with the tool i'm gonna start on my foot bottom all right guys yes so now i'm starting to remove the excess buildup of my feet as i as i as you can all see it's coming off pretty pretty well you know i'm showing you guys yes so like i said the shampoo get the job done just as good as uh, um, the foot soak would okay yeah so I'm just scrubbing away the excess before I use my sugar scrub and guys you know one part of the brush is the one part that you use to remove the excess the other part is to smooth it down and then I put on my foot scrub I'm just showing you guys look at that look at that it remove it pretty pretty well okay yes here we are so now i'm using the foot scrub the aloe vera and the sugar foot scrub um to smooth it down and to exfoliate the dead cells um the dead skin <laughs> i mean sorry the dead skin on my feet okay guys it does a pretty good job and you know aloe vera is very good it's very multi Use yes, you can use it for almost anything, it's very good, guys. You leave your skin smooth. Like I'm showing you the two different parts of the brush right here. Okay, after I use the rough part to remove the excess dead skin, I use the other smooth part to smooth it down. I'm just showing you right there. Use the smooth part, like I said, I do um, the same thing on the other feet, like I do on the first feet. Okay, you may not see me um, do it exact on both feet, but trust me, I did the exact same thing. Okay, yes, so now that I'm finished with um, scrubbing my feet and smoothing it down and exfoliating my skin with the aloe vera foot scrub i am now rinsing my feet it's with some lukewarm water that i had laid back in the kettle so now i'm just pat drying it okay guys after all that it's very cheap affordable and simple guys and you get the same result trust me very smooth and beautiful just like you go into a spa and get it done look at that look at my feet they feel so good and looking so smooth and beautiful guys it was worth it you can do it okay you can save it maybe the time maybe the money okay you can save yourself just don't want to go in to get exposed to anything or stuff like that but you can try it this way like i said i use everything that i had at home to do this 
pedicure okay you don't have to go out and buy anything just know what you have all right yes there you go look at us oh that nice yes get the job well done i'm just letting you guys see the park the front everywhere that everything is gone so now i'm just going to lotion my foot with some lotion i'm using a um, um just a normal body works lotion that i had um at home yes i'm just using the lotion that i had to moisturize my skin after um soaking it and all that guys you make sure you moisturize it with your lotion all right you just use the one that you have to get the job done okay yes you see the difference after i moisturize both that foot to that foot yeah so you just go ahead moisturize and make sure you do in between the toe as well and even when you're drying your feet guys make sure you dry in between your toe all right you don't want to leave it there wet and get smelly all right yes you moisturize it and you dry it out and you moisturize it okay there i look 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 beautiful nice well done uh, my feet is feel so good as well guys so, mm -hmm. so i'm just showing you if you don't have a what they call it um to separate uh, the toe at home use a cotton just unfold a cotton and use it all right to separate it too remember it's at a at it's a hat home pedicure okay you guys may not have the um the things that you need so you just use what you have improvised all right yes and get it done so now i'm just going to be putting on some top cords on my toe before i start polishing it all right guys yes Now it's onto the color um, polishing. Okay, I'm just using lavender. I didn't look on the buckle to tell you guys what exactly number it was, but it's lavender. Some may call it um, purple, some may call it lavender, but yes, that's the color that I'm using. It was um, a very beautiful polish. The polish was sticking off. I underdid one quartz i didn't need to do more than one quarter um polish okay guys yes it was really thick all i needed was the one quart to get it done just me i actually love all the color um turnout i actually love the color polish okay guys and remember when you're polishing your feet if you're if you polishing your toe i should say don't be afraid to get the edges messed up you know you may not do it perfectly where you don't have to do any cleanup don't be afraid to clean up the corner and the areas that got messed up when you are polishing guys it's okay it's okay to get the edges messed up you just go ahead and clean it up afterwards okay I'm going to be cleaning up. I didn't have much um, spilled on my on my skin, so I use an orange wood stick and a piece of cotton, like I was showing you, and I go ahead and I clean around it. Okay, guys, yes, you just go ahead and clean around the perimeters of the toe that may get a little spill on the skin. All right, it's very easy, and just me the orange wood stick with a piece of cotton with the remover it does get it done all right so clean it up pretty well without um messing up your tool okay guys yes
So now guys, I'm all finished, done. Yeah, my two are dry and everything. I'm just showing you the back of my heel, how clean and smooth it is, okay? You don't have to go out and buy anything. You can just use what you have at home. This is a realistic at home pedicure, guys. Use what you have in your kitchen and in your home, okay? Go ahead and improvise and get the job done. My feet feel very smooth. My skin is looking very beautiful as well, okay? Look at that. Look at my heel. Nothing. I zoom it up so you guys could see how smooth and clean it is looking, all right? It does get the job done okay go ahead take the time and give your pamper yourself and give yourself that pedicure okay yes yep all done looking beautiful guys thank you for watching and i hope you will subscribe if you have a subscribe already okay i see you in my next video guys bye